Hey everybody, I've been shooting traditional archery for about the last eight years now. And during that time period, I've developed a real love affair with the hybrid longbow. The reflex deflex design of their limbs increases speed, it reduces hand shock, and most importantly, it maintains all the qualities of a longbow that make them both fun and forgiving to shoot. Now, during that time period, I've done a lot of research into bows and bow makers, trying to find the perfect mid-range production hybrid longbow. Maybe a next step in your traditional archery journey, the second bow you buy after your starter bow. And I think that I might have just found that perfect bow in the Bodnik Quick Stick. Stick around and I'll tell you why. Hey everybody and welcome to the Modern Scald, where we love bows, blades, and ancient lore. Today, I want to talk about an incredibly awesome hybrid longbow from Bodnik Bows of Germany, the Bodnik Quickstick. First, I'll go over the bow specs, then I'll shoot it for you so you can see exactly how it performs, then I'll share my final thoughts and let you know who might want to buy this bow and why. My bow was purchased from Three Rivers Archery, so all the specs and pricing I provide are taken directly from their website. I'll include a link to this bow from the Three Rivers Archery website in the description, and you can also purchase this bow online at Lancaster Archery Supply. The current price for this bow at Three Rivers Archery is $499.99, which is for the most current version and that's why I place this bow in the mid-range category. Now the quick stick can be purchased in both right and left hand versions. It has a total length of 60 inches and comes in draw weights ranging from 25 to 60 pounds at a 28 inch draw. The riser is a gorgeous mix of bubinga and rosewood with micarta accents and the shelf is radiused and cut to center. The limbs of the bow, unlike myself, are built for speed and feature a bamboo core with alder veneers and clear glass laminate. The tips are beautifully reinforced with two layers of micarta, providing support for high-performance bow strings. Now this bow from Three Rivers came with Bodnik's Whisper String, as well as a calf hair rest that you'll need to install yourself. Now one note about the Bodnik Whisper String, you'll need to use tighter fitting knocks, or if you're fletching your own arrows, you may want to buy knocks directly from Bodnik. The reason I say this is that the whisper string serving is a little bit smaller, making some knocks just a bit too loose fitting. I generally switch to my own strings, but for the purpose of this review, I left the Bodnik whisper string on the bow. Now, Three Rivers recommends a brace height of seven and a quarter inches for this bow, which is where I have mine set, and it performs very well. I'll go ahead and shoot the bow for you a bit so you can see and hear how it performs as if it were straight out of the box. My bow is 40 pounds at a 28 inch draw. And in this video, I'm using 29 inch cedar shafts spined at 40, 45 with 100 grain field points. I'm shooting from about 15 yards and yes, I did throw a couple wild arrows. I'm going to blame performance anxiety just like I did with my ex, but that's on me, not the bow. Also, my target, much like my hairline, has seen better days. So please don't ride me too hard in the comments about my performance. I'm not Howard Hill on the range or in the bedroom, Karen. So I think it's safe to say that I really like the Bodnik Quick Stick. 
This is a 40 pound bow, but because it's so fast and so powerful, it feels like you're shooting a bow with a heavier draw weight. Not because it's difficult to shoot, but because of the fact that it shoots so well and so effortlessly. Additionally, it's fairly quiet and it's just a joy to shoot. And having a bow that's fun and easy to shoot will definitely make your traditional archery experience that much better, especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time on the range shooting over and over and over and over again. Additionally, and probably the best thing about this bow is the fact that it comes with a 30-year warranty. Now that's something that's incredibly rare in the production longbow or really the traditional bow market in general. Even amongst the biggest names, you might get a year, maybe a two-year warranty tops. So that's something that's special and something that, in my opinion, makes this bow and other Bodnik bows worth taking a look at. Now, I'm also a bit of a Bodnik Bows fanboy. I really like their company. I like the model. I like the fact that they listen to their customers and appreciate customer feedback. Plus, it comes with German engineering. Germans have always been good at engineering the best products. BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Angela Merkel. Clearly, German engineering is great. So that's not something that I worry about. I'm not one of those guys that has to buy everything from America. I trust German engineering and I trust Bodnik Bows. I also really like Henry Bodnik, the founder of the company. I'd suggest you take a look at some of his videos on YouTube. He really seems like a great guy. You can tell he loves his sport. You can tell he has great pride in his brand. And he's just the type of guy that I want to buy bows from. So clearly, the quick stick is the perfect bow for me. What about for you? Well, that really depends on what you want it for. So if you have an interest in this bow as a hunting bow, I can definitely say the quick stick could be for you. First of all, it has a satin matte finish. It's not going to produce glare. It's not as shiny as a lot of hunting recurves that you see today. And that's something that is a positive when you're in the woods. You don't want to, you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. Additionally, that matte finish is very durable. Uh, if you're walking through the brush, whether hunting or at the 3D range, you're not going to mar your bow as much as you would if you had a super shiny bow. Frankly, I've never understood why people want to go hunting with a bow that looks like it belongs as a hood ornament on a Rolls Royce. That to me makes no sense, but as my grandfather would say, it's your cow and your corn. If you want to founder it, by all means, founder it. Additionally, for a long bow, it's fairly short, it's 60 inches. So it could be a decent bow for a tree stand, maybe a blind if it's a bigger blind. But since it's 60 inches, someone with an average draw length, maybe a slightly above average draw length, isn't going to experience the stacking that you get with a lot of shorter recurves that are popular for hunting today. So that's another bonus. On top of that, since it's a hybrid longbow, you're going to get performance that is close to a recurve bow, speed that's close to a recurve bow, but also the aspects of a longbow that make them more forgiving to shoot and arguably, according to Byron Ferguson, more accurate. And we all want accuracy when we're hunting because we want to be responsible and make ethical kills. So if you're looking for a hunting bow, the quick stick could definitely be for you. So what if you have an interest in the quick stick as a traditional archery tournament bow? If that's the case, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this bow because of the fact that in terms of long bows, it's relatively short. And the general rule is the longer the bow, the more forgiving the bow. Additionally, as a hybrid long bow with these reflex deflex limbs, you're not going to be allowed into the long bow class in every tournament. So what might happen is that you end up in a class with recurve bows that are specifically designed to be target shooting bows, obviously putting you at a disadvantage. Now, didn't I just say earlier that long bows are more forgiving and therefore more accurate than recurve bows? Yes, I certainly did, but I'm referring to hunting bows in this case. It's rather situational, it's rather debatable, and it's a subject for another video. 
So what about the 3D range? Well, I actually wanted this bow as a 3D range bow. And the reason for that is because in my opinion, the 3D range is essentially just practice hunting. So all the qualities that make this bow good for hunting also apply to the 3D range, especially the durability factor. Additionally, this bow is relatively short, and if you don't like the aesthetics of a takedown bow, and you want a one-piece bow, you're still going to be able to, to transport this bow in a smaller car from range to range. So that's another thing that makes it nice for the 3D range if you have to drive to and from, etc. So what if you're just not interested in any of that and you're looking for a quality bow to take out to your backyard and throw some arrows with in your free time? Well, I can't recommend the quick stick to you folks enough. And the reason that I say that is because the quick stick is a jack of all trades. It's a very versatile bow. Plus, if you've already entered the world of traditional archery with a more affordable entry level bow, this could be a great upgrade for you, even if you're just gonna be using it casually. Because someday you might decide that you wanna try hunting. And with the quick stick, you've got a bow for that. Maybe someday you want to try the 3D range. With the quick stick, you've got a bow for that. Maybe someday you want to try a tournament. Well, you're probably not going to look like Robin Hood and you might not come out on top. But regardless, with the quick stick, you've got a bow for that. And if you're looking for a quality, beautiful, fun to shoot bow that you can leave your kids someday and has a great warranty with the quick stick, You've got a bow for that. So I hope that if the quick stick sounds like a bow for you, I hope you get to try it out. I hope you love it as much as I do. And remember, with the quick stick, you've got a bow for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. I gotta get out of these lights. I am sweating like a hog in heat. My god. Anyway, feel free to like and subscribe if you like and want to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.